This is a short video on how to set up and program a Cozy Toes Vista Wi-Fi thermostat. Uh, we're going to show you how to do it on the unit and also from your mobile phone device. The first thing that we need to do is set the day and time on the stat, which is really easy to do. So uh, we need to press the menu button, which is bottom left hand corner of the screen. And then we go to time. And from there you can select the correct day. So today is Thursday. And then you can select the correct time. So starting with the hour, use the arrows on the right hand side. Press the tick button to enter. And then you can do the minutes. Tick to enter again. And if you go back to the main screen, you'll see the time that you've put in and the correct day as well. And the device will save the settings automatically for you. So before we attempt to connect the thermostat to the Wi-Fi, please ensure that you've actually disabled the five gigahertz on your router temporarily if it's dual bands, because the stat will only connect to 2.4 gigahertz. And once you've connected, you can then turn the five gigahertz back on. So now you'll need to download the Cozy Toes app, which is really easy to do. You can do that by scanning the QR code from the first page in the instructions manual. You can also access the app via the App Store on your device, which is what I've done. So uh, if you launch the phone, go to the app, and what you've got is register or log in with an existing account. So register an account if you haven't already done that, and then also you can log in. So what I'll do is I'll just pause the video and put my details in just to speed this up a little bit. Okay, so once you're logged in, this is the home screen. So normally there is a button in the middle of the screen that says add device, but I've already got my home underfloor heating uh, logged onto this. So uh, you can actually add a device by uh, pressing the plus sign in the top right hand corner. Uh, but we won't do that just yet because we need to actually um, revert back to the thermostat quickly. Uh, the next step is to make sure the Wi-Fi symbol in the top is flashing quickly. Um, this should automatically happen with all new stats, but if for some reason it's not flashing quickly on your stat, simply hold down the up and down arrows at the same time and uh, that should revert it back to a quick flash. So I'll just quickly show you how to do it. Up and down. Normally takes about five, six seconds or so. There we go. So you can see it's now flashing quickly and we can actually now hook the uh, Wi-Fi stat onto your phone. So if you press the plus sign, top right hand corner, and uh, we're gonna go for thermostat, which is the middle one, and you're gonna come up with uh, confirm indicator rapidly blinking. So we've just done that. So from here, you're gonna to wanna to put your password in. So I'll quickly pause it, put it in, and we'll get confirmed and get, uh, get going with it. Okay, so once you've got your password in, press confirm and it'll start to connect. So what I'll do is I'll just pause it just so it can uh, run through its cycle uh, and just speed this up a little bit. Okay, so uh, once that's got to 100%, it'll take you through to this page which says device added successfully. You can actually change the name of the, uh, the thermostat if you like, or you can keep it as it is. Uh, once you've done, just press the done button and it'll take you through to the main screen for control in the underfloor heating. So next we need to program your desired time periods. Please bear in mind there is no on or off buttons to control your times. Um, the temperature will dictate whether the thermostat is on or off. Uh, we would recommend trying 28 degrees to start with for a tiled floor. Um, this may seem quite high, but bear in mind the temperature probe is actually measuring the floor temperature, not the air temperature. So 28 degrees for a tiled floor. If you have laminate or wood, uh, we would normally suggest about 24 degrees. Um, you can take it up from there if needs be, but 24 degrees should be the perfect temperature to start with. So to set the time periods, it's really, really easy to do. So let's start with the actual unit itself. So we go to the main menu and we're going to go to edit setting. And then you've got your day, so you can select Monday through to Friday and do those separately to your weekend days or if you want you can do it all as bulk and do all seven days together which makes it easier for this uh, for this example so once you've selected your days press the tick and then you can uh, select wake 
which is when you want it to come on in the morning. So we'd normally say, yeah, leave around about 40 minutes approximately for the floor to heat up. So we'll have it come on at 6 a.m. So once you set your hour, press the tick button, and you can set your minutes. And then you're gonna set your temperature. So 28 degrees, like I said, for a tiled floor, 24 degrees for wood or laminate. Always press tick when you've done. And then leave. So this is gonna be when you go to work on the morning. So we're gonna, let's say nine o'clock for that one. And then you're gonna bring that temperature all the way down to 10 degrees. Then it'll, uh, it'll turn the underfloor heating off at this time. And then you've got return which is uh, when you get back from work. So let's say five o'clock, and then we're gonna take that temperature all the way up to 28 degrees, press tick, and then you've got sleep. So uh, this is when you want it to go off on an evening, select your time, temperature down, let's take it down to 10 degrees again, and it'll turn off for the night, and it'll come back on in the morning at 6 a.m. So once you've done that, just come back all the way to the main screen, the uh, thermostat will save those settings. So really easy, really simple. If you want to set that up and do that from your phone, it's really, really easy as well. So uh, you've got your uh, settings button here in the top right, which you press on. And basically all you need to do is go down to schedule and choose if you want to do your five days plus your weekends or all seven together. So for this instance, we'll go with seven. You can see the actual unit is mirroring the phone. So uh, from there, edit setting, and then you've got your wake, your leave, your return, and your sleep. So it's the same process. So you're gonna go and change your time, and you're gonna take that temperature to 28 degrees. And then you've got leave, which is when you go to work. So we'll go 9 a.m. I'm gonna take that temperature down to 10. Return when you get back from work, temperature up to 28 degrees and then sleep, select your time, take that down to 10. Really simple, really easy. Uh, if you do it on the uh, unit itself, your phone will mirror it. If you do it on your phone, the unit will mirror that. So whichever one is easiest for you to do, and you just go back to the main screen, and that's all you need to do. If you wish to manually up the temperature or turn it down at any point during the day, you can do. So on the phone, you can use the plus and minus buttons, which takes the temperature up and down. As you can see, the unit is mirroring the phone. Or you can use the slider option, which is also very easy to do. Set your temperature and uh, it'll uh, automatically do it on the unit as well. If you want to take the temperature up on the unit, dead easy, up and down arrows on the side, up to take the temperature up or down to take it down. And once you've selected the temperature you want, just press the tick button, and there you go. So uh, dead easy to do. Um, if you wish to hold the temperature through the next time period and beyond, you can use the hold mode. Um, so again, really simple. So if you're on the mobile phone device and you want to hold a temperature, you literally press on the bottom left-hand corner and go to hold mode, Select the temperature that you want, and it'll hold at that temperature until you turn that off. So how you turn it off on the phone, bottom right hand corner, left hand corner again with the squares, and you go to smart mode, and it turns it off and goes back to your programs. So if you want to do it on the unit, again, really simple, top left, you've got some arrows in a circle. If you click on there, hold mode, choose your temperature, once you've chosen, press the tick button and it saves it. To turn it off, top left hand corner, it should be a uh, little hand. Click on there, auto mode, and it goes back to the time periods. So next, if you go to the menu, you'll see on here that there is a key lock right here. So if you press on there, and you press the arrows on the right hand side and go to lock, and then press the tick button, it will lock the stat, meaning that nobody can get into it. So if you've got any kids at home and you don't want anybody messing around with your uh, time periods and your settings, just put it into lock mode and nobody will be able to touch the screen. 
Um, if you want to remove it, just simply hold your finger on the lock screen in the bottom right hand corner and what you'll see is the lock will turn off. Really simple, so if you want to do it on the phone, you can do as well. Lock is in the bottom right hand corner, so just press that once and it will come up as locked. To turn it off, just press it again and it'll unlock. Dead simple. There is a, uh, a setting on here called holiday mode which uh, if you press the arrows again, you'll see is right here. It allows you to select a certain amount of days that you're gonna be away for, which will then turn the, the actual thermostat off. But um, we wouldn't actually recommend using it. It can get a little bit complicated. Um, the best way to do it is uh, turn off the thermostat. So there's a power button here. If you just press on there, it will turn the thermostat off completely. And then when you get back from your holiday, just turn it back on. So um, you can turn it off and on on the actual mobile phone itself, or you can also do it on the unit. And um, just to the right hand side on the side of here, there's a little button that you can press. And what happens is it'll turn off the thermostat for you. And again, if you click it again, it'll turn it back on. So when you get back from your holiday, just press that button. Don't mess around with the, the holiday function. It's, uh, it's, it's not needed really. Um, the uh, extra thing in the menus here is the uh, advanced settings. Um, it comes up with a warning because a lot of people tend to go into there, mess around with the settings and it can affect the performance of the stat. So all of our thermostats come set as they need to be. So you don't need to go into there at all. Um, if you've got any questions, um, if you needed to do a factory reset, you can give us a call. We can tell you how to do that, no problems at all. But yeah, with the advanced settings, you just don't need to go in there. Uh, and yeah, that should be it. So um, for any further information, please contact our helpline. The number is 0113-257-7588. That's 0113-257-7588. We're happy to help if you've got any queries. And uh, thank you very much for watching.